good morning good afternoon good evening from whichever location you are watching this video so uh, in this video we'll be discussing about how to create the devops workflow right so you can see here you know when you talk about devops you know we have this workflow so how to go and create the devops workflow using the using azure devops uh, you know what does azure devops have you know uh, to create this kind of workflow right but before i proceed i want to just uh, you know let know everyone that we are continuing with our azure devops training uh, last sunday uh, very sorry we were not able to connect you know because of my health issues uh, but last saturday uh, so till now we have covered like six seven labs uh, hosting simple application yaml practicals unit testing github integration approval and gates and the last time we talked about Azure uh, DevOps variables, how to create a variable, how to create resources. And we, we also had some technical issues, you know, so this week I'll be focusing on those technical issues as well. And uh, this time, you know, I'm planning for this lab eight, you know, where we will take up a complex application and uh, try to create uh, automation using Azure DevOps, right? So very quickly in this video, you know, I want to discuss about that, uh, how to go ahead and create this workflow of devops inside azure devops right so when you talk about devops right it has two things to it one is the philosophy that the development team and the operation team should work together they are one team right and the second is to automate this philosophy right so uh, you know to automate this workflow you know where the developer actually codes uh, you know he builds he tests and then the release and the deploy so these are you know different uh, i'll say stages or different workflow elements and one of the second steps in devops is that we would like to automate this workflow right so let us go ahead and understand that how we can automate this workflow or how we can create this workflow i will say rather how we can go and create this workflow inside azure devops so in order to create this workflow azure devops has given a concept here called as a pipeline so you can go to this pipeline out here and you can create a pipeline by using YAML language. YAML stands for yet another markup language or you can say YAML and another markup language. So you can go and you can create your workflow in this YAML file out here and then you can do your automation. Now, <clears throat> uh, in order to go and create this pipeline or I'll rather say Azure DevOps visualizes this workflow or this pipeline uh, you know, you know, using four things, or I will say in four levels. The first one, uh, it says that there are stages. So stages means, for example, if you look at uh, DevOps, right, it can have stages like a build stage, testing stage, go live stage. So first is the stages. Inside the stage, you will have jobs, right? So basically every stage out there, uh, for example, you can say build stage, the first job would be to do a get latest must be, the second job would be to a build and so on, right? So it has jobs. Inside jobs, you have, uh, you know, steps, you know, steps. Uh, for example, uh, if you say uh, doing a get latest must be, you'd like to go and check the URL of the GitHub and then do something and then actually do a get latest. So you'll have steps and uh, every step uh, will have uh, tasks inside it, right? How to exactly do it, right? So basically stages, jobs, steps and task. So if you want to go and create the work, create workflow on in YAML, you have to go and you can go and you can use these four things out here and you can go and you can create a workflow. So let us get started out here. So first thing you will have stages, right? You can see YAML in YAML. Uh, it's a, it's, it's YAML language is very user friendly to read, or I will say it is very, uh, it is very easy to read YAML because it uses proper spaces. It uses simple colon out here. It does not use those, uh, how do we have in JSON, those brackets and the double quotes and the square brackets, right? It's very simple, just name value and uh, hyphens and nice spaces, right? So you can see your stages. So inside this, you know, I can say we can have two stage out here. Uh, the first stage is, let us say, uh, the build stage and the second stage, you know, uh, can be the the test stage right so you can see we have two stages defined out here then inside the stages stage you will have jobs you know remember this plural and singular huh? stages stage so in the same way here also we will say jobs right and then inside this you can have a job here 
so we'll say job is uh, so let us say in the build stage the first thing you would like to do is a get latest let us say right uh, the second uh, you would like to go and then do the actual build right so we'll do a get latest we will actually do a build and so on uh, in the same way it must be even you know for the testing also you can have uh, these kind of uh, jobs so you can see here also i put a job in the test must we will say you can say that first you create the test data right so uh, test data test data preparation and then actually run the test case right so run test case so here also you can <clears throat> go and you can have uh, you know different jobs out here and then inside the jobs you have steps remember sp uh, plural and singular um, I can understand that if you know YAML if you're new to YAML then sometimes you know writing these syntaxes can be difficult if you want to get a tutorial on YAML let me know in the comments below uh, that yes a, a tutorial on YAML would be good I would post a tutorial on YAML as well right a basic tutorial so inside the jobs you have uh, steps right and then step can be you know inside you, it can have it can be any kind of step you know for example it can be running a task you know like you know build the kind of a task or it can be uh, uh, so inside the steps you have tasks so task can be for example running a script you know for example you can go and you can say I want to run a script and just say echo hello you, you so you can run PowerShell you can run bash script you can run you know even the ready-made task out here you can see at the right hand side we have so many tasks out here uh, for example I can go and I can say okay I want to go and run a task of doing a dotnet core build so you can see here this is ready-made task you know which is defined in uh, in azure devops right uh, so i'll not do this you know because we don't have anything to build as such uh, but the point is that tasks can be uh, can be of various types you know scripts bash scripts powershell shell commands and then ready-made task you know which is given out here and so on right so we have stages stages has jobs jobs has steps and steps have various tasks inside this right so this is how you go and you create a workflow and then you can go and you can save this and you can run it so i'm going to go just go and run this and let us see that how it looks like so we'll say just run and uh, uh, so you can see here very quickly down below uh, this is the build stage which has started right inside the build stage it is doing a get latest first right and then it is doing a build and once this completes it will actually do a testing testing as well so again you can see uh, the different uh, what you call uh, so these are stages build and test these are jobs and inside the jobs if you go and if you see so you can see earlier you know, these are the stages build stage and test and you can see the various jobs and you can see the command line task out here hello which is running and so on right so uh, in this way you can go and you can define a nice workflow out here and uh, you can go ahead and you can create a wonderful automation right so uh, that was a very simple introduction of how we can go and you can we can use uh, you know the azure uh, devops pipeline out here uh, to go and create a workflow so remember stages jobs steps and tasks right so very quickly guys you know uh, this azure devops training is happening again on saturday and sunday so what i'll be doing out here now in this training is you know uh, we'll be going and we'll be defining variables so we'll go and we'll create variables and we'll say that we'll see that how we can pass variables you know between the stages between the jobs and so on and uh, also we'll be doing some complicated demos out here uh, which will be related to automating the mvc ef angular with sql uh, project as well right so we have completed approximately six to seven labs out there and uh, this coming saturday and sunday uh, we'll be looking into this structure and how we can use this structure with variables and then we will go and we will create this complex uh, mvc with ef angular process out there by using this right so i hope that i will see all of you guys in the training right so coming saturday and sunday 9 to 10 p.m. we are continuing our azure devops training so happy learning happy job hunting if you like this tutorial please go down below and say that yes this tutorial was awesome so if you know if you like it i will go and i'll post more such tutorials thank you